MindsDB, an open source database that takes AI into the action and sprinkles into your data. But hold up, there are hundreds of databases out there. Beauty of MindsDB is that it supports various databases out of the box. Some databases, but not limited to R, MongoDB, MariaDB, PostgreSQL. Before we go any further let me introduce you to some important MindsDB syntax. MindsDB lets you connect to your favorite databases via the create database command. With engine, takes which database you want to use. Here I am using Postgres parameter parameters takes the essential parameters like user ID, password, host address, port, and which database to look into. Shows you available databases. Shows you all the metadata about the database. Now we get into some real deal. The things that makes MindsDB stand out from other databases are its predictor statements. This statement creates and predicts a machine learning model and uses it in your data. Here, create predictor lets you import a model, in this case, home rentals model. Then we are getting all the house rentals data here and predict using predict rental price. There are a bunch of other statements in the docs about the SQL API, let me briefly show you some. Create table. The create table statement creates a table and fills it with a subselect query output. Syntax is what you see on the screen. There is also a view statement under create. There are other commands, like, describe predictor, retrain, drop predictor, select, select from files and join. They work exactly like their name suggests. Describe predictor displays attributes of a predictor that you've made. Retrain, retrains your prediction model with a new set of data. Drop predictor deletes a model table. Select, grabs predictions from a model table. Select from file, selects data from file. By the way, all of this is in MindsDB's awesome documentation. Here we will only look at their SQL API, they also have support for Mongo API, if you want the Mongo API, link for the docs, will be down in the description. What's that? This is getting nerdy. Where's the code bit? Let's get into some coding. To get started, download Python 3.8 and install it. You might be wondering why version 3.8, it's because there were some problems with the latest version of Python while installing it so I recommend you stick to 3.8 for now. While installing Python don't forget to tick on the Add to Path option. Go to the folder where you want to create a virtual environment. Click here, on the address bar, and type command. This will open up a terminal. Now type pip and check if pip is there. If this pops up, then you are all good to go. Type pip install virtual and, and press enter. Once that's done, create a virtual environment using the command that you see on the screen. Virtual and then, python equals python 3.8. Note. All the code and commands used in this video are in the description and in the GitHub repo linked down below. Anyways, once the virtual environment is created, open the directory in your favorite code editor, I am using Visual Studio code here. Now activate your virtual environment with the following command. If your terminal changes and becomes something like this, then you are good to go, congrats. This will be a short code introduction and demonstration with the syntax that we've learned so far. Let us start. On your terminal, type pip install mines db comma pi mysql and press enter. While that's downloading mines db, let us explore their online based SQL editor. Head over to the https cloud.mindsdb.com. Here log into your account or create a new account. Note. Make sure you keep that email and password that you've used to log in with you, we will need that in a moment. Once that's done, congrats. You can now flex your SQL skills here. On your left hand side, click on these three lines icon. Here you can see query and add data options. On to add data option, you can connect MindsDB with different databases like Airtable, Cassandra, CockroachDB, and more. Interesting thing is, you can upload your data in a CSV file in the files section. Anyways, onto the query tab. Use the following SQL query to create an example DB. To see data in your DB, type the following command. Next, train a model in the browser using the create predictor statement that we've discussed earlier. While your model is being prepared, you can check its status via the following query. Once the model status turns from generating to done, 
you can use the model using the following query in your data. Congrats! Now you've learned how to use their online SQL editor. Now, let's head over to the Visual Studio code. We've installed the Minds DB using pip. Here I'll teach you how to do the same process that you've just done, in the cloud, now in the Python. Create a main.py file inside your venv. In the main.py file, first import mines db, sql alchemy, and py mysql. Now, set your email that you've used to create a mines db account earlier, in user variable. Set the password in password variable. Set the host to cloud.minesdb.com and port to 3306 and database to whichever database that you've created. I am using example db created earlier in the video. In a function get connection, return create engine. This will help us to create a connection with the SQL server. In main function, try to get connection using get connection method and return exception if not connected. Once it's done, create a engine and query it for the data. This is the same command that we've written earlier in the cloud. Create a predictor using eng.execute. View your results using select status. And predict it. For batch predictions use the following command. Congrats now you are true master of minds db. If you like this video, click the like button and share some love. Anyways, bye.